Welcome. Today I'm going to introduce you to the new features and functionality in Adobe Photoshop Elements 2021 and Adobe Premiere Elements 2021. The Elements products are designed for memory keepers, people who enjoy celebrating life events, making creations with their photos and videos, and getting a wow reaction from friends and family. Memory keepers are always looking for quick and easy ways to edit and create but they also want to add their own personal touch and grow their skills. This year, we're delivering even more automation powered by Adobe Sensei AI technology and fun ways to edit. The Elements home screen appears at launch, so you never have to start with a blank screen. Right away, you'll notice auto creations, slideshows, collages, and effects made automatically and delivered right to you. The home screen also highlights features you may not know about, links you to features to try, and offers search capabilities. And at any time, you can jump to the Elements Organizer, the Photo Editor, or the Video Editor with just one click. We've done a lot to enhance the Photoshop Elements Photo Editor and the Premiere Elements Video Editor. Both editors offer three different modes. Quick, for making quick adjustments, Guided for step-by-step -step editing help, and Expert for when you want to get more adventurous. Let's jump into some of the new automated photo editing features that are powered by Adobe Sensei. Moving photos easily creates fun GIFs that are great for sharing. Simply open the photo editor, grab a favorite photo, go to the Enhance menu, and select Moving Photos. Over on the right, you can see all the different options you can create. Adobe Sensei analyzes your photo and automatically applies whichever effect you choose. I've chosen the zoom in and out effect. But if you scroll down towards the bottom, there are panning effects as well. Let's try pan left and right. So you can see, with just a couple clicks, I can add motion to a still photo. Adobe Sensei does all the work. We've also added more functionality to adjust facial features with adjust face tilt. This is great for when your subject just didn't pose the way you wanted them to. You can easily change the angle of their face so they're looking a little more left, a little more right, or even up or down. Just move the sliders any way you like to adjust the face tilt and you're done. Once you're finished editing a photo, you can use the fun new quote graphic feature to get your photo ready for sharing. Go to the Create menu, select Quote Graphic, choose a template, select how you'd like to share your photo, in this case I'm going to share it to Instagram, and click OK. Photoshop Elements will automatically create the right size and aspect ratio. Drag and drop your photo from the photo bin Adjust the zoom level and position it to get your subject exactly where you want them. Edit your text to convey the message you want and make any other adjustments you'd like. Use the tab down here to instantly apply a completely different design or stick with your original one. Once you're done, you can go up to the share menu to share on social media or print your quote graphic with the Fujifilm Prints and Gifts service. For folks doing video editing, now you can select specific objects in your video and apply effects to the object or to the background. This is a really cool feature as it follows your subject throughout the video. Simply open the effects panel, drag and drop any effect onto your video, and inside the settings panel for that effect, draw a selection around your subject. If you'd like the effect applied to your background instead of your subject, simply go into More Options and select Invert. Click the Track button to track that selection throughout your entire video. Once Premiere Elements is done tracking your subject through your entire video, you can just click Play and see the result. One of the other things that we've done in Premiere Elements this year is enhanced our support for GPU acceleration. 
Now, many effects and transitions use the GPU for smooth playback without the need for rendering the timeline. We've also added 21 new music tracks to set the right mood for your movie. And for those of you who want to learn along the way, we've added three new photo guided edits and two new video guided edits for a total of 83. Guided edits step you through the process so you get just the results you want. I'll walk you through one and then show you the end results for the others. The first one is called Perfect Landscape. This guided edit helps you perfect a landscape photo by adding a more dramatic blue sky with clouds, enhancing the overall colors, straightening the horizon, and more. We'll start by clicking Perfect Landscape to open up our photo. And you can see over on the right, we have the step-by-step -step instructions. Step one is to crop and straighten. Let's click the crop tool and adjust it so that we have a nice landscape aspect ratio. Get it adjusted properly and hit the green check mark to apply the crop. The next thing we might want to do is straighten our shot. Over here on the right, there's a straighten button. We can just drag our cursor right along a spot that we think should be horizontal and Photoshop Elements will analyze the photo and readjust it so that our horizon is straight. Another common problem with landscape shots is that they tend to be hazy. So in step two, we click the Remove Haze button and Photoshop Elements figures out where it's hazy and gets rid of the haze and also adjusts the color and contrast so it looks just right. Step three is really cool because it uses that Adobe Sensei AI technology to help us replace our sky. All we have to do is pick a sky Click the button and Photoshop Elements will analyze our image, find out where the mountains meet the sky, and then apply a new sky for us. And if we don't like that sky, we can just click another one. We can also use the sliders to adjust how the sky looks. In this case, I want to brighten up my sky to make it look a little more natural. And I can also use the Move tool to get the clouds just where I want them. There's another step to fine tune how the edge of the sky looks against the mountains. But in this image, it looks pretty good, so I'm not going to mess with that one at all. And finally, step five is for using the spot healing brush to fix any imperfections in your photo. Like maybe I don't want all these little trees out in that grassy field. I could just brush over them and Photoshop Elements will remove them from my picture. Or, if I don't want both of these kids in the shot, I can just drag, let go, and the spot healing brush will heal that kid right out of the photo. So now I've got a much better looking landscape shot. Let me quickly show you the original, and here's the final result. If I hit next, I go to the final screen where I can save my image, keep editing it, share it, or use the Fujifilm service to order photo prints and GIFs. Another new guided edit in Photoshop Elements is the duotone effect. This is a great way to add a dramatic color overlay to your photos. Just choose the color scheme or mix and match your own colors for a dramatic effect. And finally in Photoshop Elements, we've added a new Move and Scale Objects guided edit. This allows you to select an object move it somewhere else in your photo, and then resize it. And the area where you removed the object gets filled in with Content-Aware Fill. It's just like magic. In Premiere Elements, there's a new double exposure guided edit that adds a video within a still photo. And there's also a new guided edit for adding animated mats to your videos to create interesting overlays or transitions. And let's not forget about the Elements Organizer. It's common to both Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements, and it's a powerful tool for keeping track of your photos and videos. The Organizer has long been able to recognize faces in your photos, as well as popular subjects like sunsets, birthdays, dogs, and cats, and then add smart tags to them. Both the face recognition and smart tag features make it quick and easy to find specific photos. We've also heard from our customers that they want to make sure nothing ever happens to their catalog database structure. 
So this year, we've added an automatic backup and restore feature. Finally, the best part about creating beautiful photos and videos is being able to enjoy them and share them with friends and family. Elements offers a great way to do just that. Easily turn your favorite photos into wall art, prints, home decor, phone accessories, office gear, and more with the Fujifilm Prints and Gifts service inside Photoshop Elements. It only takes a few clicks to choose the photos you like in the photo editor or here in the organizer. And then choose from over 140 options so you can surround yourself with your photos and always find the perfect gift. I hope you've enjoyed this look at some of the new features and functionality in Adobe Photoshop Elements 2021 and Adobe Premiere Elements 2021. The editing software for making amazing photos and movies, fun creations, and forever memories.